Jesus. It shines in your life. In fact, we are told that at the end of the day, that is uh, when the Lord will come to take the account of everyone, that those who are righteous will be shining. Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 43. Matthew chapter 13, we're reading from verse 43, verse 43. In verse 43, here is what it says, Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He was ears to hear, let him hear. The righteous, the righteous will shine. That means what makes us shine, what makes us glow is this righteousness that abides and remains in our lives. You know, you now live your life, you live a different kind of life. The spirit of God is within you. And anytime a temptation comes, the spirit will say, no, a child of God doesn't do that. And then you are checked and say, praise the Lord, something is new. I used to just live my life without you know, having any conscience or whatever, but now the spirit of God tells me a child who cannot do that cannot go that way. And if you make a mistake or you do something that is not right, the Spirit of God will tell you this is not right. Then you go back to God and say, God, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have gone that direction. And I said, the continual cleansing. If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us continually from all sin. And you're always settling those records because like a father to a son, like a daughter son to a father, every time you're going back to the Lord, forgive me Lord, I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have said that, and the righteousness continues to glow in your life. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, that's why the Lord was telling the people and still telling us today that this is the essential thing. This is the important thing. This righteousness that abides and this righteousness that continues in our lives. Enduring, enduring righteousness that glows, that shines. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And that's what conversion does in our lives. Now you set your priorities right. Whatever you want to do, what takes priority or preeminence in your life is what, he, what would he say? What does he want me to do? What kind of life does he want me to, to live? And what will glorify him and what will beautify the life of a real kingdom citizen? That's why it says the first consideration, anything that happens, you're thinking about your business, you're thinking about your relationship, you're thinking about your family, you're thinking about whatever it is, seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then it says all these things shall be added unto you. Chapter 5 of Matthew verse 6. Chapter 5, verse 6, uh, tells us in verse 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Remember, you had an initial deposit of righteousness. And it tastes so good. It feels so good. It's so nice that I want more of this, more of Christ in my life. And more of his life in my life. And more of his goodness in my life. And more of the shining light of righteousness. Therefore, it says you're thirsty and you're hungry after that righteousness. And it says you will be filled. Uh, literally, you are pursuing it every time. You say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because of what you've done for me. And thank you because of this new life that you have given to me, but I want more of it every time. In First Timothy chapter 6, I'm reading verse 11. First Timothy chapter 6, we're reading from verse 11 there in verse 11. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 11. It's talking about how we pursue, how we follow after uh, this. But you, man of God, child of God, son of God, daughter of God, but you, man of God, flee all this and pursue righteousness. Pursue righteousness. So it's not just that, well, I've got it, I've got it. But you love it. You passionately desire it. And you're saying, I'm pursuing that. And I want to be better today than I was yesterday. I want Jesus Christ to shine forth in my life more than ever before. Pursue righteousness and godliness and faith and love, endurance and gentleness. It says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, reading from verse 22 there. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. In verse 22, it's still saying the same thing. Flee. The, the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness. And that means then that this enduring righteousness uh, should keep on our lives and should keep glowing. And on the final day, we're told in Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. 
Daniel chapter 12, verse 3, the glow of an enduring righteousness. Uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 3, those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens. And those who lead many to, what's the next word there? What's the next word? Tell me out loud. Righteousness. Those who lead many to righteousness. It says they will shine like the stars forever and ever. That's the glow of that enduring righteousness. Uh, the Lord has uh, you know, reminded us today, I'm sure that many of us who knew this before, that number one, we get rid of that you know, external righteousness. We don't put our trust, our faith, and confidence in that. As if that is what will take us uh, to that eternal favor with God. We say, nothing, nothing I do uh, is, uh, accounting, is counting in the sight of the Lord to get me or to earn me life eternal. It must be by him and him alone. Not religion, not this and not that, but that we now come to this evangelical righteousness and thank God he did it for me. And because he did it for me, I can say by his grace and through faith in him, I receive this eternal life and this righteousness. And once I've got it, thank God I'm keeping it and it's keeping me in it in Jesus' name. And then the glow that your life will shine. Let your light not just shine, but so shine that the men around you, women around you will see your good works and they'll glorify your Father who is in heaven. And when he comes back for his own and then we go home with him, there's something that will shine in our lives forever and ever. The righteous will shine as the sun forever and ever. And I pray that you will be among the number, I will be among the number, we will be among the number in Jesus' name. When the saints go marching in, I'll be there. You'll be there. We'll be there in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes for a, sh uh, for a short prayer. I just want you to bring back to mind what you've heard. External righteousness. Bragging about who I am, what I am, how good I am, what church I go to, what doctrine I believe, better than everybody else around me. Let's push all that aside and come just on the basis of the righteousness of Christ, evangelical righteousness. Let's ask for more grace that that righteousness will be an enduring righteousness that will continue in our lives all by grace. Our Father, we do thank you today. We bless your name because of your word you've spoken to us. We pray that this word will bear fruit in every life. Confirm it, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have received the message from our pastor, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, the General Superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your heart. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O oh Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week and the one we are going to listen to the next week by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. If you tarry, we shall listen together once again next week. And if not, every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.